is a drawing of the layout of the buildings. I've been asked quite a lot of questions in the comments about the layout and people are getting a little bit confused because there's quite a few buildings. Where's Tony? It's a bit like where's Wally around here. So many places to look for him I can never find him. I don't think he's in the side barn. Oh, there's a piece of pipe seems to have arrived there. Ah! Ah, what's that? Oh, well, I've just spotted him. Now he's disappeared again. Anyway, oh, he's not. He's obviously over here doing something. So, as we can see, the diggers had to stop work for a little while because of the roofing. Obviously, it's too dangerous for him to be driving about out here. So, the roof works have taken priority for the time being. Right, you can see scattered all over the floor here. These are the ridge tiles. They're working on the other side of the barn first before they're going to strip this side off. And they've thrown them down from the top there and as you can see it's broken quite a lot more tiles on the way down and they've all ended up down here so that's a bit of a mess again but can't be helped anyway what's Tony up to something over here oh, I think he's probably around this corner ah yes there's some evidence of what Tony's up to he's clearing this corner he's got the bottle racks down right, we're gonna reuse these for something so we're gonna have to clean those up but wow look at the size of that ivy that's been growing in between it it's like a tree trunk so he did tell me earlier that he thinks this was in two pieces so it looks like it might be or maybe even more let's see what he's doing around the side here Aha. oh he has been busy wow he's pulled loads of ivy down from that side and obviously he's taking these metal racks off of the wall i think we're going to have one each of these in our respective workrooms Oh wow, he's been busy again. There's still more ivy. There's even still a bit more up the top, but all those shingles up there are going to be replaced as part of the roof. Oh, he's chopped back a little bit of the tree so he can get in and out. Right, Tony's taking me up the alleyway to show me something. Uh... <laughs> Wow. Oh, Alright, hang on, it's a little bit dark down here. But wow. Oh my word, it's like a huge tree trunk down there. And this is hanging onto this uh, yes, one, rack. Yes. Tony's having to cut it all out <laughs> to get the rack out. Wow. And we're going to have to do a lot of repointing afterwards, aren't we? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, just look at the size. I mean, how, they've been there for years and years unchecked, haven't they? Years, yeah. yeah. As it happens, considering all that was up there, that wall isn't looking too bad. What is it? If we brush down all the loose bits and yes. do some repointing on it. Looks like it was probably rendered, actually. But yeah, yeah, it needs a good old tidy up. So. When they do the roof, are they replacing this timber here? Uh -huh. I don't know. It's how does this site. how does this work? Well, yeah, let's hope it's good enough. But the ends of those timbers there, I mean some of those are rotten. Obviously this one in the middle here looks rotten. Yeah. And they have obviously quoted to replace these shingles with slates, haven't well, they? No, 
We'll have to wait and see, won't we? That's just in at the bottom. They, they come off anyway, that's not a problem. They're yeah, because furry. that, what was that for? I mean... They're only furry in pieces to take the water away from the wall. Oh, okay. So would it, have, it would have been like a little sticky out bit of... Yes. ...on the bottom? Yes. Ah, right, okay. That's the idea. Yeah. Well, they won't. They put their tiles over the top of this wall. Yeah, I think they'll probably just batten it out, won't they, again, with those... Yeah. Over the top of what's there, the beams are, all seem to be sound inside. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just wondering what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's quite exciting, actually. But yeah. So, do you think we should try and sort of chip this bit, this sticky out bit of wall off the end of this barn? Well, it's not doing any harm, is it? Well, I know it's a bit strange, though, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose it's all part of its character, though. We'll just get the rest of the ivy out and fill the holes in. But yeah, it must have had a little bit of the building must have come this way, mustn't it? Yeah. Well, that's a later wall, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Oh, you think that's part of the original structure? Because that's be behind there is the well, isn't yeah. it? It's just, a, it's just to stop the wall from paving it. It's a, yeah. So it's built out of stone? Yeah. Right. Because there's obviously been some changes around here over the years, hasn't there? I think there must have been a bit of extra ground with this plot that's been then utilised to build other things on. Anyway, so you managed to get one out. It's a little bit bent up, though. But we'd be able to... Oh, it's even got a... Is that a maker's name? Yes. Can't read it, though. Can you see? Is there one on the other one? The yes. same? Looks like a little... see the one. Can you? Oh, I'm going to film the other one then and see if I can read what it says. But yeah, that'll be useful in the workshop, won't it? Yeah. Right. It's a bit like a puzzle, isn't it? I'm doing all these bits. What are you? Oh, you've got a reciprocating saw to, like you would cut the branches with. Hey? Put your batteries on out. Yeah, I know. So Tony says we can see the plaque on this one, so let's have a little look. This, I can see it. Can we read it? Oh, it looks a little bit more readable. Uh, I'm not sure I can actually read it though. Let's have a zoom in. Can you read what it says on there? I can see bar, bar, boo, barber. Something like that. But yeah, if you can read that, perhaps you can let me know what you think it is. Barbo. I'm sure someone be, someone can find out for me. Oh, wow, yeah, it's still got some of those bottle tops with the little china bits on. This is where I found that lovely little blue bottle when we first discovered this. Right. Oh. It looks like some sort of a galvanised material. I suppose it must be. Is this galvanised? Yeah. Right. Because that always, to me, makes it seem as if it's fairly new. How long have they been doing galvanising? Since uh, the 30s, I suppose. 30s. Oh, right, OK. Uh, maybe we can look that up as well. But yeah, because it's galvanised, to me, it always seems new. But then they have a lot of these in France, and they all seem to be galvanised. They're using the power they're, power they're, um, they're nail guns with. They've got the same nail gun we had, haven't they? Yeah. Their nail gun is powered by electric only. Oh, what? Have they not got, have they got gas ones? Nope. What have they got? Yeah. Oh, like compressor. a compressor. Exactly the same as your compressor. So the lads on the other side are here. Yeah. You've got one exactly the same. Yeah, but it's not here though, is it yet? Uh, My compressor's so. still in. No, it's in the shed. Is it? Yeah, I think 
All right, I'll have to sort that out then because I wanted a staple gun that went on the compressor. Anyway, let's see if we can sort that out. Wow, how long do you reckon that piece of metal's been in there? Yeah, so, so that's, only, that's not doing much. Not oh, it's not a, oh, it's a newspaper. <laughs> oh, you pushed it inside. We'll have to go and fetch it from the inside. So, what we can see through this arrow slit here, that um, that's our uh, store that goes onto the courtyard there. Well, we've come round this side of the back of the barn because Tony's got to finish taking the the foliage down so that they can carry on mending it. <laughs> can you get behind that to get to that? Yeah. Son's got to work out a way of getting there. What he's got to do is probably at least chop back this tree and um, get the last bits of ivy off of the wooden shingles there so they can repair it what's that piece of gutter yeah. no, flashing flashing <laughs> That metal thing on the top there is like a tank stand. Yeah. That was what's stopping it going round. Yeah. Are you going to open me up? No. No. Sorry? Yes, I know. Can I get closer? Oh, there's all branches in the way. Hang on, I was getting attacked. <laughs> Things I do. Ouch. Right. When are we going to open this up and find out what's in there, Tone? See if it's got water at the bottom? Of course it is. Well, we hope it has. Do you think there's a reason why they would stop using it? Yeah, or it just... It's easier to turn a tap on. Oh well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It must just be progress, mustn't it? Yeah. So, you've got to work out a way of getting up there somehow, which is behind the well, which is sort of tucked in the corner there. Um... Steps, I, think. I was just going to say, can you get steps behind there? Yeah. I can't see. It. Can't see very clearly. Um. Yeah, there's a couple of brambles and bits. There's not much there, is there? Yeah, it's all right. Because it's a bit dark around here, so I suppose it doesn't grow so easily. Anyway, I'll do it good to get rid of these bits. <sighs> Yeah, looking above sure. us, you can see where our new roof is progressing. <laughs> right, I've seen enough for tomorrow. Sorry? I said I've seen enough, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, okay. But yeah, I want to see it open. Right, I'm coming back out again. It's a bit of a mission. <laughs> got me. It's got me, Tone. Help. It's got me. Ow. I'm free. He's dropping things on us. <laughs> he didn't do it on purpose. He knows we're here. Right. That's our door. To the back of the... Um, to the back of the storeroom. Right. It's picked up on the other side, but we're gonna right. open it, aren't we? Yes. 
Right, so an obstacle course getting through here. This is Tony's drainage hole where we're still uh, working out where we're connecting drains and he's got to fix a few things. Oh, and then back out to the road. Right, it's Good Friday and the roofers have been here today. This is not actually a bank holiday in France. The Monday, Easter Monday is a bank holiday here. Um, and the roofers are having a week off anyway, a week's holiday. Whether that's normal for everyone in France, I don't know, but probably. So they've been here. Um, as you can see, the guttering at the bottom here is now in place. So I've been busy doing that this morning. They finished off the timber on the very edge here this morning. And then they've sheeted it all up. And they've had an early doors, so they've gone home a little bit early, which you would expect on a Friday normally anyway. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. I mean, they've done, oh, they've also put scaffolding up. And that's in the little alleyway around the back where Tony was clearing the ivy and the metal racks. So they've already scaffolded that up. But yeah, they're doing really well. Unfortunately now, they're not going to be here for a week. <laughs> So we've had a very quick start and now we've got to wait again, but it's looking good. Looks like Tony's been busy again this morning and he's finishing off his drain here. So we have a stone or oh, stone effect surround for that drain cover. You won't see any of this sand and cement that will all be covered up by the ground cover. But yeah, there's his drain almost ready to go when they finish the guttering. And I think we'll have to age this somehow so that it looks like stone. I think it's going to blend in quite well, actually. Yeah, so that's what Tony's been up to this morning. And now, I think he's obviously got a little bit of spare cement left over because he's over the back here. And he seems to be cementing together some of those stones that he's used to surround the pathway in front of the bread oven. Oh yes, they've chucked a few more tiles off of the roof. I hope they're going to clear all this up. I'm sure they will. Let's go and see where they've put the scaffolding up around the side here. Sorry if I'm jumping about a little bit. It's very lumpy bumpy out here and I have to be careful that I don't trip over something. Oh, yeah, that's a huge bit of scaffolding they've erected. Let's not fall over these. Wow. Well, that looks all chopped up at this end. Wow. Yeah, that's going to enable them to get right up there on that gable end to replace all those. Uh, well, they're replacing them with slates actually. That's going to look really pretty when it's all done. But yeah, look, so he's done a good job, hasn't he? On clearing all the ivy. Very good job. And then there's another job afterwards for us to repoint all this. That'll keep us busy for a while. Hmm. So, we seem to have found some more. Rubbish that I haven't seen before. Oh, this is probably partly from where Tony's cleared the ivy and he's had to cut back some of the branches on the trees here. It was very pretty, it was all bloom blossoming, but that seems to have died off now. But of course, it was all overhanging the wall and it would have been in the way of putting the scaffolding up. Hmm. He's took back quite a few big brambles as well, as you can see. This one here looks pretty vicious. Right, let's go and see what he's up to. What's happening, Tone? Yeah. Oh, you're cementing your stones in. Oh, 
want. Oh, you've cemented these ones along here as well. Can you see the shadow of me with my cup of coffee? Oh. Yeah, so things are still going on, even on Good Friday. <laughs> Let's wish everyone happy Easter, Tone. <laughs> oh, you have to say it a bit louder than that. Well, whatever this shrub is, I think that's the one that gets the beautiful white flowers that smell gorgeous. Like little pom-poms. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. But we had one back in the UK. They look something similar to a lilac, but they're like pom-poms. But yeah, so we get to keep that one. Are you going to be having another bonfire? Right, it's just a little one this time though. Hmm. There's his fork tail. I've never seen one with a fork tail. There's the little one. There's a big one in. Oh, he's massive. But yeah, that's really weird. Look, he's got two tails. Is that like. Oh, he's going in. No, he's not. <laughs> I thought he was going in the house. How can you have a lizard with a forked tail? Forked tongue, maybe. Did he go in? Oh, wow, he's fast. So is this little one. <laughs> yeah, he's gone that way, isn't he? Yeah. I've, not, I've never seen one like that. There's only the little one behind that one. Yeah. I'll try and open it slowly, he's going to run. Where's he gone? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's going back that way again. Yeah, I think so. Oh! I'm he's, he's indoors! He's indoors! Quick, come out. Here he comes, he's gone. He's that my particular type of lizard. <laughs> I don't like him. Look, oh, he's, got, he's gone in there now. There's a lizard with a forked tail. Yeah, he does that. What do you mean he does that? Well, they've got no tail. No, they've got two tails. Oh, got two tails. Look, the tail is actually sticking out of the vent. Oh, that is just very strange. But I'm, I'm definitely leaving him alone now. He's scared. So I've managed to persuade Tony to come back into the middle house with me because it's Easter the roofers are not here the digger can't do any work and there's not a huge amount going on although Tony's doing quite a few bits of maintenance but he's going to see if he can get that lock box open that was inside the safe so that's really interesting we never managed to find a key for it Bed Sorry? Bed slipper. Bed slipper, is that what they call it? Yeah, that was in the loft, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Right. So, I haven't been in here for a long while, have I? So, let's see if we can light it up so that my camera can see it. And this is what we're talking about. We're in... One of the outhouses of the middle house. This is underneath this side of the end barn. And I have showed you this safe before, with which the door wasn't locked. But it does have this interior box for which we've never seen the key. And Tom's just having a good look while he's in there with the torch. They haven't hidden the key at the back there, have they? Oh my word, there's two tiny keys. They look too small, don't they? Yes. Show us them. Oh, what's that? 
Like a dog tag or something. It looks like a military dog tag. Does it? Show me. Has it got numbers on? It says. Can we zoom in? Borge. Borge. One five nine eight. No, oh. wait a minute. That's just. Yes, yeah, his, his name. Oh, show me. Show me. Show me. How did Andrew, we not find this? Andrew. Andre. Does it say Andre? Because yeah. that's the lady's name. Nineteen fourteen. Oh my word. Right. Oh. How did we not find that before? Yeah, All right. Like it's not bright enough. I'm going to have to film this next door. That does say Andre. Francois? Wow. Is there anything else lurking in there? Just the two tiny keys? Wow. Oh, I've gone all cold. It's almost as if things arrived for us to find them. Because we took an interest. That's definitely his dog tag. That's weird. But yeah, I'm going to film this close up. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. It definitely says Andre Francois 1914. Did you? Did it have Bourge and a number? On the other side. I can't read it, but if we, yeah, maybe if we have a number, yeah. maybe I can find some help to look up a French. Yeah, there's a clay pipe. <laughs> Broken clay pipe. Wow, I'll clean that up as well. We never looked underneath, did we? Oh, I wouldn't put your fingers under there, Tom. Can you see anything? Apart from old leaves and cobwebs? No, that's about it. Old leaves and cobwebs. Right. So can you show us those two tiny keys? <clears throat> Did you try it in that little... Yes, they're not big enough. They're not big enough. So we have two tiny keys which have been put in the safe for some reason. They look like clock keys. I mean, they do a little bit, don't they? Yeah. You can... We've seen these handles before, haven't we? Oh, you're trying to see if there's another key, aren't you? Before yep. we try and break it open. Which is a good idea. Do you think we should try and get some off the mantelpiece and go just check them? Because there was a whole bunch of them. That would be an idea. Before we try and break it open. Although we're, we're not going to actually use it as a safe, are we? No. I rather like the idea of keeping it as for storage. Right, I'm taking the dog tag with me and put that in my pocket. I haven't got a pocket. Yes, I have. Right, put the dog tag in my pocket. Actually, it's strange because they do, they tend to hide keys nearby where they use them. What have you found? A hand, hand off a sword. Oh, not a key though. Because I did notice when I watched the footage back where I filmed the bread oven that on the window frame there's a key hanging up and I keep meaning to go back and see if it's going to fit if it fits the door I haven't remembered yet so I might do that in a minute Right, is there any other little hooky places where they might have hung it? No mm. uh. Well, there's quite a few hooky places, but yeah. But sorry, what have you found? No. Is that what that is? A log yeah, splitter? Yeah, there's three of them. So you went and bought one and you've already had some. Look, there's one underneath this um, yeah. shutter. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we won't run out of log splitters now, will we? Hey. Um, but yeah, there's lots of hooks and nails and things, but nothing. Well, I suppose they wouldn't make it obvious, would they? Well, not really. On the back of this door, it's a bit dark for me to see. There's definitely yeah. hooks, but there's nothing hanging on there. Um, no. Well, let's get the ones out of the 
front room and see if any of those fit. Um, yeah, right, I'll go and fetch those. And we'll try those first. They wouldn't have left it in one of these other outhouses. We haven't seen any keys hanging out there, have we? No. Not in this room here. Did we look behind the door in this one? No. Oh, I'm a bit wary of moving it, to be honest. I don't know if I'm brave enough. Shall we have a look? Got cobwebs. I'm off if a big spider comes. Ooh! Oh, it's gone all dark. As it happens, there isn't that much behind the door. There certainly isn't a key. Uh, quite big doors, these. This one's not too bad. It still works. It's got a huge great hinges on it. No, nothing on these doors. All right. Hang on. What's that? Oh, that's not a key. It's just a bit of wood, I think, a bit of wire. All right. Ooh, cobwebs. Ooh. But yeah, that works. That works fine. <laughs> Let's go inside then. Yeah. We need to spend the day working out if any of the keys fit any of the locks, don't we? <coughs> we think they might have left it in the kitchen or the hole. Yes. <laughs> it's like one of those games. You don't get the games on the internet where you have to find things. <laughs> it's like one of those games. It could be anywhere, hiding behind something. No. Do you know, I've never really took much notice of that kitchen door. I didn't realise it was glazed. Anything? No. Oh, not along the top shelf of the... No. ...cooker hood, or this little shelf up. Is there anything on that shelf up there? Yeah. Not being seven foot tall, No, actually, yeah, if there was a little old lady living here, I doubt very much if she put it up there, would she? <laughs> uh, okay. It wasn't in that little secret cupboard thing we found. There was hooks for keys. Oh, is there any bats in here, Tan? I don't see any. No, I can't see any, that's good. Don't be disturbing them. I think they've moved out quite a long time ago, actually. Right. Now, the key cupboard is behind this door here. Oh, she says. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in there. I'm pretty sure we didn't find... No. There's not a secret bit up the top, oh, is there? Secret bit down the bottom. Yeah, we opened that bit. Tracy really? broke it actually when she opened it. Well, that, it's no use for anything. It just looked as if it went perhaps a little bit further up there. Nope. Oh, okay. Right, and then mantelpiece then, because there's a big bunch of them, which I think they must have come out of that. We've seen that, Tone. 1906? 1911. Oh, was it right? Oh, there is a 1906 one here somewhere as well. 1911. Wow, 110 years ago. What does it actually say on the front? Oh, it's just about some disaster. Look. Yeah, look. That looks like a broken crane or something. I don't know. It's an artist's impression of a disaster. Oh. Oh, what were the people's faces? Yes. Was it a train crash or something? I don't know. 1911. That's People like, yeah. running. A train crash, I think. Oh, off of a bridge. Oh dear. Yeah, there you are. Right. Over here by the mantelpiece tone, please. <coughs> now, 
Now, there's quite a few to choose from there. It would be a small dish there. Look, there's a little bunch there. This would be one of these, I reckon. Might be, mightn't it? That. That's possible. What, what other little ones have we got? That one's smallish. No, that's too what's... big, that. These are too big, aren't they? It's, it's one of these or nothing. Right, is there anything behind there? What was that? Uh -huh. Oh, dear. There's something broken. Oh, no, well, it was already broken. Um, no. Oh, that was a freaking it. Yeah, yeah, I think we looked at that before. What's it say? A Nord Vernuil Indra. Yeah. And, and. Uh, I think we've looked in all these things as well. Okay. Right. Let's go and try the key. Definitely none hanging in the hallway. Right. Then after this, we're going to go and explore up in the loft and open up the boxes that we've never looked in. Any luck? Yeah. Oh, wow! Oh! Nothing, nothing, in nothing in there. But where did you find the key? Oh! Not even a penny? No. No tone. How much? Nothing at all. Oh, but we found the key. So, now, based on that tone, mm -hmm. We found the key for the inside. Is there a key for the outside bit? No, it's tumblers, isn't it? Oh, is it? It's got a key as well, though, hasn't it? Mm. Oh, so, yeah, we would have to need, know the code, wouldn't we, for that? Yeah. Oh, you brought one with you. Were they together? They were, weren't they, on the same? Mm, it works, though. If we oh. found the key, would it just work with that? It, it does work. It's a squirt up. Is that the key then? Yeah. Yeah, it is. No. no. Oh! So that is the key. So is the little key on that thing for the inside bit? And then there's another tiny one which looks like these clock keys that were inside. Uh, it'd be best to get some oil on it. No, it's, it is that key. Oh, yeah. why is it all together then? Yeah. I don't know. That's brilliant though, isn't it? I can I can keep all my valuables in there. Yes. Hey. Oh, thank you, Tone. Well done. That was a nice squirt up. Ah! Now you've shut it. Yeah. How do we open it? Well, it's obviously set to where it is. Don't... Oh. Don't use it... If you don't well, what I'm saying is, if that clicks... If you don't use the tumblers, you'd be all right. Right, OK. I thought you'd lock this out. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, and a good old clean up then. I'd love to have found out what the little tiny ones are for, but never mind. They're sweet. Oh, anything lurking down the back? No. Right. Come on then. It's like upcycled a car. I was looking at that. That's a bit weird, isn't it? It is. Does it, is that a Ford or something? Yes, a wheel up. Well, that's a wheel hub, but you can actually see it's got some name in the middle of it with the light bulb is. Why would you bother? I suppose to make the car the light cast downwards. Maybe. <sighs> Strange. So someone must have used this reasonably recently then. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm taking the torch. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Tony's giving me the torch, or a torch. Right, now we've got to go all the way up to the loft. Is it all safe? It's nice and dry at the moment, isn't it? It's well dried out from us temporarily covering up the roof. after. Oh. 
Let's have a little look round. Must be on the door then, Tone. Some wallpaper. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, apart from this bit that's fallen off? Yes. <sighs> what are you doing? Having another look round? You forget stuff, don't you? Now, that picture tone had people upstairs in this house looking out the window. Yes. That black and white picture. <laughs> now, is there two windows in this room? I think there is. Yeah, so these two windows here are the two windows of which there's people leaning out in that photograph. Mm. And I believe it must have been Mrs. Andre. And it might well have been Francois Andre, whether that was her son or her husband. But yeah, from this room, there was definitely a lady at this window looking out in the photograph. Right. Oh, we looked at this stuff, me and Tracy, when we came up here. Look at this. This is some medicine. That's a lighter, isn't it? Like a. I don't know. Um, is it meant to go on your belt? Yeah, it looks like it. Why would it have two holes in it then? I no, really don't know. Actually, put enough gauze in it, might be some sort of a lamp or something. Maybe, yeah, some sort of little lamp. That's what I thought it was for lighting something. No. That looks like it should go on. Looks like it should go on somebody's belt. There's two like hooky things on here. Do you think this may be salvageable? Yeah, I do. It's all sort of in piece, like a bit like a um, flat pack, isn't it? I think that's the top to it. Yeah. Well, I'm saying it must have been quite an impressive wardrobe. Obviously it's got a big plinth that goes on the top. Might be worth salvaging, even if we use it. It's it's one of those ones that has shelves, isn't it? Look. We've got the things all the way up the side for shelves. I think you're warm for a kind of nice, isn't it? Oh don't! <laughs> Yes, more free firewood, maybe. We'll see, but there's a lot of worm in this house, like woodworm, so when we get a better look at it in the proper daylight, we'll see if it's worth salvaging. But it could well be sal salvageable for my workroom, for storing like, linens in and, well, fabrics, it's what it's designed for. Ooh, on here, yeah, actually, I could try and clean that. <laughs> Not the bed, obviously. Um, but yeah, I might be able to try and clean some of these rugs. Mm. See this chair here, Tone? Yeah. Nobody knows how it got there, do we? No. Because when me and Tracy walked in, it was there staring at us as if someone was sitting there waiting for us. That's big, isn't it? That's a colour, isn't it? But I think that thing on the top of there goes with it. I think it might be, might have been used for curtains or something, but it's a huge rug, I think. I think this, this is another one. I was a bit scared about doing that in case it's something ran tone. But it could well be. You could use it as a... Yes, I'm just, I was going to say it could well be usable, but there's some big holes I can see in that piece. There, look, it's all tatty and... Well, you could cut that off, you could use yeah. it for a bed trail, couldn't you? Well, I might be able to, if it, if it came up clean, I might be able to use it to upholster something with. Yeah, it's what you're like a bed shroud, yeah. yeah. I like the colours and the pattern, and then we've got more there. Maybe that's what it was before. But there's a lot of it, isn't there? Mm. I know some of it's got some holes in. 
I'm pretty sure it could be used for something. It's very strong material. Anyway, I'll look further into that. Right, are we going up to the next floor? I do love this wallpaper. It always reminds me of my bedroom when I was a little girl. <laughs> I had something very similar. Right, this is somewhere else I've never been in, Tone. Yeah. This is what I want for my workroom. And I've never managed to actually go in there. It's not safe, is it? Hold on. Don't please don't. Can we not get a plank or and then you've got to get back? Is it safe to walk on? Go right, oh, well, look, you can see where the okay. hole is. Look, there's a hole. Walk around here. Do you think it's safe for me? Yes. I'm a bit heavier than you. Go around here. Put your foot down there. This is moving under my foot. Don't worry about that. Put your foot down there. Well, I mean... Oh! I like that mezzanine floor. Yeah. Well, again, it's all part of what I want for me. Work room. Why have I got a hole in the roof? Hey. I didn't. I don't remember that being there. No. Well, I poked my nose in here. Don't remember that before. I think we need to get someone up to look on that. Is there any damp? No, I mean, is there any damp on the? Is it all safe? Well, when we looked downstairs, I actually looked at that end. It looked very, very good condition, didn't it? Oh wow. What is that? That's something electric. Yes. What is it? I don't know. Looks like a saw or something. No, it's... No, no, it's connected to there. Look, there's yes. something over there. Yes, I think it's a lamp. A lamp? That's obviously a beam there. Yes, I know. Right. <laughs> what is it? It's a old car lamp. Oh wow, and that is connected down there, so obviously there's no electric in this house. But it was at some point connected down the bottom there. Oh, I've got a torch, let's turn my torch on. Because it's not very bright in here. Oh, wow. Oh, a chest! Yeah.